Thanks all for coming here. Uh, it's so awesome to see how this community has grown. And community is also what I'll be talking about today. And I'm talking about growing the Mesos ecosystem. And the Mesos ecosystem specifically through the use of commercial products and services. So when, when we think about the Mesos ecosystem, we think of a flywheel. And uh, commercial products and services are a big part of this because they actually fuel adoption. Um, why do they fuel adoption? Well, with, with all of these commercial products and services, you actually get to business solutions. You get to things that solve particular business problems, not just technology. And those business solutions can be used by big companies that actually are not necessarily technology companies in order to solve their particular needs. And of course, that creates a big market. And uh, that big market, in turn, uh, creates the need for more products and services around Mesos. And all of that grows the community. Now, now my clicker isn't working, I guess. I think, the, I think Google Apps froze. Great. Um, well, I'll, I'll, continue, I'll continue talking while uh, while Craig here fixes this. So um, at Mesos, what we've created is uh, the data center operating system, which is sort of the first, uh, the first, uh, OK, unfroze, which is the first commercial offering around Mesos. And uh, Mesos plays a big part of it. It's essentially the kernel of this uh, DCOS operating system. Uh, how many of you have heard of DCOS? OK, awesome, most of you. So. DCOS really packages Mesos and makes it consumable for everybody. So uh, it contains Marathon, it contains a package repository from which you can install things such as Kubernetes, you can install Cassandra, you can cons install Spark, a number of frameworks. And on top of that, it actually comes with a user interface, a graphical user interface, and a command line interface. And we also added security on top of that. And Diving a bit deeper into for me the down error doesn't I know. Uh, all right. <laughs> so um, the the DCOS comes actually in three flavors. So it comes in a community edition, which is completely free and offered on the cloud. So on Amazon, on Azure on Google, and uh, other clouds will follow soon. And then we have the Enterprise Edition, and the Enterprise Edition uh, is uh, mostly for on-prem right now, but we also have some cloud customers. And the Enterprise Edition comes with uh, hardened security, such as Kerberos, and of course, support from, uh, from our engineers and our support staff. And Mesosphere Infinity is actually the first vertical solution that we've built that's a turnkey solution to really address some of your business needs, so uh, for IoT and big data specifically. And, yep. uh, and uh, another, another exciting thing for us is actually that uh, we're not the only company that's putting uh, money and resources into this ecosystem. There are a lot of companies, and a lot of them are actually here. So Intel is here. They're actually really heavily investing into this space. Cisco is here. They're investing heavily. But, all, but so are other companies like Google, for example, which brought Kubernetes, uh, and uh, which they have been really helpful getting Kubernetes, actually, the, the Mesos Kubernetes integration back into the Kubernetes core. Of course, other companies like Elodina, uh, are really, uh, which is Joe Stein's company, are, are bringing Kafka, the Kafka framework, over to Mesos, which is great. And Airbnb brought Kronos into, me, into the Mesos ecosystem. There are really a lot of companies investing heavily into this, and I think we'll see over the next couple of years more and more of these frameworks that really solve a lot of uh, business, uh, business problems. And this, this slide is actually really exciting to me, because when we started Mesosphere two years ago, um, there were two or three recognizable names that used Mesos. And today, when you look at the powered buy list, you have hundreds of companies that actually use Mesos in production. And especially when you pay attention to the mailing list, to the user list, you see so many companies are giving uh, Mesos a try, and so many more actually uh, than back in the day are actually using it in production. And 
what's exciting about that too is that you don't just have technology companies adopting it. So we see a bank here, we see telecommunications companies, we see uh, Airbnb, Yelp. So it's, it's, a really broad, it's a really broad set of adopters. And we're going to double click on one company specifically on Verizon because we announced today that Verizon is a paying customer of DCOS. And I'd like to ask Larry Rao, who represents Verizon here, onto stage. And we're going to show you a demo, but before we do that, we'll talk a little bit about Verizon. So Larry leads the, the development and deployment of Mesos and DCOS over at Verizon Labs. And before that, he was the CTO of Sun Microsystems. And he's, uh, he has a very strong technical background. He also worked at a company called uh, Savage, and uh, he worked at Bell Labs before that. His background is in compilers, tooling, and distributed systems. So uh, please uh, give a warm welcome to Larry. So, so Larry, uh, why did you guys decide to use DCOS? That's a good question, and, and thanks for inviting us up here. Really appreciate you guys uh, inviting us here. When we started looking on how we deploy applications inside Verizon and the time it takes to, to get those applications to market, we're looking for a way different solution. And we settled on, a, on the fact that we want to build a cluster. We want to treat it as one coherent uh, system, and that allows us to deploy applications much quicker. Awesome. And um, so Larry's team actually provided us with a, with a cluster with 24,000 cores, in which we'll show a pretty cool demo. And uh, what are we going to show exactly? That's good. So uh, what we prepared, and this is our two teams working together, actually. So what we, what we decided to do was to uh, see how fast we can launch um, tasks on Mesos. Because it's very critical for us when applications need to scale up and down that they, they, the tasks launch really quickly. And so we set some goals for ourselves on, on doing that. And we built a demo around that. Awesome. How did you, how did you come up with this challenge? That's a good question. So, uh, so our teams have been working together, and uh, I think they, they went out to dinner one night and, you know, having dinner, and I think there was a bottle of wine or maybe two bottles of wine, and, and then people started throwing out crazy ideas on things we can do and came up with, like, like, like large amounts of containers we can launch. And then we decided, hey, we can do this and ask the engineers, and they're all like, yeah, we can put together a cluster and, and demo this, and next thing you know, we're here in front of 700 people about to do a demo and see if it works. Awesome. Well, let's give it a try. Hopefully, the demo guts will be good to us. Yeah. And what we, uh, what we did is we're going to try to do 50,000 tasks in, inside of two minutes. It's and so that, that's what we, we hope are work. And uh, I had one of my staff here. He, he calls it, he made me the, the, the boss scripts. So supposedly, these just work. And so what we did is we just issued four applications into Marathon. Uh, to start running, and then we're going to have a visualizer here that's going to actually um, show these tasks running. And so as the tasks run, there's a little uh, uh, starburst or a little, you know, this is actually a simulation sort of similar to asteroids, and, and so each application represents a single asteroid, and you see it burst into the, into the sc uh, screen as it launches. And so we're already up to 24,000 um, containers already. And this, by the way, is running on, we set up 500, over 500 nodes, each running about uh, 48, uh, what Mesos would consider a CPU. So there's a lot of, a lot of horsepower behind this. It's awesome. And so we're, we're sitting 30,000, so we, we might make the 50,000 here. And it's a pretty good time so far. And, and can, I, we, I can, we say, separate the, can we separate the apps? Yeah, and your team did a good job working on this, this demonstration. I think it's actually the same guys who, who built Marathon. And so what we can do is we can separate the colors here, and you see the different applications represented by each color, and you can actually navigate around. And so we hit 45,000. We're, we're, we're closing it on the 50,000, and we're just over a minute. So we should, should be able to hit our, our goal here. That's and what, what you're seeing, too, is, is Marathon and Mesos are communicating, getting the offers. Hey, there we go. Miracle. Yeah. Huge shout out to the team. This is a, actually, this is really fantastic to launch that many tasks in such a short time. Maybe one, one more question, Larry. So how did you guys actually first pick Mesos? So when we started looking to, you know, we settled really quick on the fact that we need to run a cluster of systems. 
And then we, we settled really quick on the container technology being a key part of how we want to design our, our services and design microservices. And that led us on a sort of looking around what the technology, we did the, the typical things. We, we looked at OpenStack for an hour and then we threw that out. And then we looked at, you know, we looked at virtual machines for a couple minutes and threw that out. And so then we, we started looking, hey, we can build our own schedule. And then we realized, well, this isn't too, too easy to do. And so you look around at who's done it really well. And then we, we came across Mesos and we started playing with Mesos. We've been working with Mesos for quite some time. And then we started talking to you guys about DCOS. And, and as we announced this morning, we, we licensed DCOS from you guys. And, and we're pretty excited about uh, deploying this in, in many data centers within Verizon throughout the world. Awesome. Thank you so much, Larry. All right. Thank you, guys. So I want to thank you and uh, thank all the Mesos community yeah. as well. Yeah, thank, uh, thanks everybody who worked on this, on both teams, and of course, the whole community that made this possible. Thank you.